I'm coming, little kitty. Are you okay, little kitty? Well, that's what happens when you play with fire. Bad fire! Well, even though fire is dangerous to be around, it's surely not something bad for us. In fact, everything we see around us can be credited to fire. Fire! Let me share that by answering a fiery question. What if we had never discovered fire? Zoom in! Determining when fire was discovered is tricky because it was controlled and used by Homo erectus way before modern humans came around. Since there aren't written records from back then, scientists think early humans probably checked out natural fires like wildfires before figuring out how to make and handle fire themselves. But what we somewhat know is that it became a regular survival tool about 400,000 years ago in Europe. Since then, it has become like a real superhero for us, helping us cook our food, craft our tools, keep us safe, and gather us around for stories and laughter. But what if by chance or circumstance, we had never stumbled upon the mesmerizing wonder of fire. Well, in this alternate reality, only humans would have faced an entirely different set of challenges, even in fulfilling basic needs such as food, clothing and shelter, as the discovery of controlled fire was a major leap in humanity's evolution. Yes, that's because, according to the cooking theory, once Homo erectus started eating cooked food, their bodies found it easier to digest and absorb nutrients, allowing their brain to grow larger and become smarter over generations. It means that without fire, our ancestors might have remained unintelligent due to primarily eating raw vegetation and meats. Next, without fire's heat, pre-humans would have had to rely on natural materials like animal fur or wool to keep themselves warm. Staying in warmer regions where natural heat was more readily available might have been a preferable choice for survival. Plus, fire was not only a source of comfort, but also a means of defense against predators during travels. Moreover, it aided in crafting materials which boosted the progress of technology and innovation, allowing the development of more complex tools and structures. So it means the absence of fire could have potentially limited the migration of early humans beyond Africa. No migrations would have meant that we would have remained inside the covers of caves or simple shelters made from leaves and branches. And let's not forget that hanging out around the fire also helped early humans build their own culture and society. By sharing meals and space, they likely started developing language to communicate with each other. All these changes in behavior, along with how their bodies handled food, eventually led to us, the modern humans we are today. So in short, the discovery of fire stands as one of humanity's greatest milestones. Without it, we might have been less intelligent creatures, still living in caves and eating tasteless food. But who knows? we might have found alternative ways to enjoy life. Trivia time! Did you know that the oldest recorded fire on Earth has been identified from charcoal in rocks formed during the late Silurian period around 420 million years ago? 
Also, archaeological studies have discovered fire pits in Africa dating back as far as 2 million years ago. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Serena Waite. Hope you learned something brighter today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ha 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 ha, never mind.